Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly make these really easy Batman cookies. So stay tuned and I will show you how. Here are the things that I use. A Batman cookie cutter that you can find on Etsy.com. It was around $11 with the shipping all together. Some black Wilton food coloring and I have some lemon yellow by Sunnyside Up. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright guys, very easy cookie to do. You will have to just fill inside the Batman outline. And do stay inside the lines, the imprint that the cookie uh, cutter made because it doesn't have very much on the edges here, especially on both sides for that yellow. So you don't want to go out on um, outside those lines or else you won't have any uh, left for that border. I'm going to have here a, a tip number three in a black. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and fill this in. And again, kind of working quickly because I have to uh, make sure that by the time I'm done with this side and go to the other side I have to come back to you know blend it in I'll be able to work with it and it doesn't have uh, much time to crust so just fill it in and smooth it out Kind of smooth that um, icing out first before you start going to your um, peak areas, which is the ear parts at the top and at the wings here at the top and at the bottom. Just pull that icing out just a little bit. Just like that. Very easy cookie to do. So that is it for this black part. Nice and smooth. I'm going to let that uh, dry. I'm going to finish up the rest and then we can go on with our yellow. Do give this a fairly amount of time so when you add that yellow you won't have the chance of getting that black absorbed into that white and then you'll, I mean in that yellow and then you'll have like a little bit of a halo going on there. So do give it a good I'd say a good four or five hours if you want to do this in the evening and then uh, uh, fill in the yellow in the morning. That'll be ideal. That'll be the best. That way you can just uh, make sure that you can avoid that um, bleeding into that yellow. All right, guys, I'm going to move on. All right, guys, so I gave my black uh, plenty of time to dry. So I have here my yellow in a tip number one. I am using a, a small tip because I have some really, really tight squeezes and small, small areas, if I use a larger tip, um, it's going to kind of overflow over my edges and I have to be careful with that. So I will be using a smaller tip. The bad thing about that is I will have less flow, which means by the time I come around back to my starting point, this is um, probably going to start uh, crusting already. And um, um, I'm going to have to be careful with um, crunching that um, icing that's starting to set. So... I'm going to go ahead and, and kind of make a little outline first and then flood it in really quickly. So I'm just going to try to get as close as to the edge as possible again because I have very, very small spaces in some areas. Once I go back to my starting point, I'm going to squeeze a little bit harder so I can get some of this icing flowing a little bit quicker. And I'm going to have to work in sections. So just go ahead and fill the whole cookie in. Preferably in sections like I'm doing here.
almost done. That outline does help a lot because it keeps your outline neater. I did a few without them and it was just not coming out neat at all. So eventually I caught on to the idea of doing, doing the outline. So some cookies will come out a lot neater than others. So I should have done the outline from the beginning. But I was trying to avoid that line. Just so it could just look like one whole piece instead of having that outline. But it just works a lot better that way. Okay, here in this edge here, I gotta keep this um, in a sharp point. All right, made it through. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry, and I'm gonna finish up the rest, put them all together, and I'll be done. Turned out pretty neat. All right, guys. So it is nice and dry. And that is it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, give these a try. Very, very easy cookie to make. So if you have a Batman fan, a superhero, or a comic book fan, these will be perfect for them. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And have a good one.